normally when it comes to fleas, I'm going to side with the dog, but I have to say the flea in an itch in time is absolutely adorable and I love its food around the corner song. It is so addictive. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon that was released in 1943. It's directed by Robert Clampett with a story by Warren Foster. And we have Mel Blanc voicing the dog, who is adorable. Arthur Q. Bryan as Elmer Fudd and Sarah Berner as the flea, who does sing this delightful food around the corner song that I just, I found very addictive and can't get enough of. And I keep singing it in my head. Um, so basically there is this dog and this flea comes along, realizes there is food around the corner and starts to set up camp. And of course the dog is very itchy and we keep seeing quite traumatic scenes of the flea, like drilling into the dog's skin and things to, to get its food. And the dog's obviously distressed. It sounds more traumatizing than it is. It's obviously quite comedic. But Elmer Fudd threatens the dog and says, if I catch you scratching again, you're going to have to get a bath and give you the flea treatment and whatever. So the dog does everything he can to try and not scratch. But it seems like the more he tries not to scratch, the more the flea makes him itch. And I thought it was a lot of fun. The reason it worked very well for me is because I love the character of the flea. I love the design of the flea. I love the singing of the flea. I love how it had all these little tools and equipment and things to help him to get his meal. I really enjoyed it. The dog was adorable. My favourite bit is when the flea gets him and he jumps up and, and he says in a very high-pitched voice something like, look what he's done to me. Um, which again sounds really depraved and depressing, but actually it is obviously very entertaining. I really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. Um, you, I always find it weird when Elmer Fudd's not chasing Daffy or Bugs when he's in other cartoons with either this dog or with Elmer, with them. Um, Sylvester, I think he's much more agreeable as a character because he's obviously not trying to kill an animal. Um, and I really liked him in this one as well. So definitely, An Itch in Time is a contender for one of my favourite Warner Brothers cartoons. Just everything about it worked. It was cute, it was quirky, it was funny. Definitely one that I recommend.